Every practice, every walkthrough, every time you play, you have a good opportunity to be the best version, and and and, and, and it definitely help your team out. I was one. Um, uh, Penn State is a, is a good team. Uh, very um, like senior led, a lot of older players on that team. So, but it really will be small for margin errors. Um, they're very experienced, so I feel like we just come prepared today in practice. I feel like we'll be all right. Uh, I agree with Bruce. Uh, it all starts in practice. We come with that same mindset where. Um, you know, we had that same hunger and, you know, mindset that we had with Purdue in the first few minutes of the game. I think we would be very successful if we can be able to sustain that, you know, kind of effort for the whole 40 minutes. I think we'd be in a good spot. But like Bruce said, Penn State is a very older team, very low margin of error. So, you know, we got to be um, direct when it comes to our clues and keys. How, how hard is it to keep doing that when you're not seeing the results, you're not seeing wins, and when you're stacking losses like this? How hard is it to try to to not, I guess, get bogged down by that? Uh, it's very frustrating, obviously, uh, not having the uh, results that we wanted. But one of the main things is um, to be where your feet are. Like I said in the beginning of the year, um, we can't really let that really get the best of us. We really got to focus on just getting better. Over these past few years, like me and Bruce are freshmen, like we have many more years to go. So I feel like we just got to keep our mindset very strong, and you know, try to be the best we can in future years in the future. How much of the the message in the locker room right now? You know, even after all the losses and everything like that, you guys still do have a chance to to make some noise in the Big Ten tournament. You know, um, make a run there of some kind. Is that like a message or a motivating factor for you guys uh, during this time? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, I feel like we still got a lot of proof. Um, I know like the results will always not be uh, maybe be there, but I feel like we still have the um, the right guys and the right team teammates and coaching staff around us um, to make those things happen. So every time I play, I, we always had that feeling we, we're gonna win. That's just the mindset you have to you have to have. Just playing in this um, league, uh, there's, there's so many great teams, uh, one through fourteen. But I feel like we can play with anybody in the league. Like I said early in the year, and we still had that same confidence. And then maybe for Roddy, uh, the last two, two games, Jalen Pickett's obviously put up huge numbers, uh, scoring the ball and everything like that. Um, what you know, when you watch film, have you seen him be able to take advantage of uh, defensively watching other guys? Uh, we watched a few, uh, some film on him. Uh, we we know that he likes to get a, a matchup he likes and use the post. But like, I feel like we have really good defensive guards, so I feel like that really we like we. We have the opportunity to be able to, to defend that pretty well, and we just got to, you know, honor their shooters. They have, like, four guys on the team shooting above 40% from three. So, you know, we got to be able to stop, pick it, but also not let any other guy, any of the other guys get off. Uh, Roddy, uh, last few more games you've been playing, a few more minutes. Just what are the things that you're really working on right now with your game to kind of round things out and, and be a, a contributor guy uh, with those extra minutes, I guess? Uh, see, I just go out there and compete, play hard, just do whatever coach asks me to do. Like one of the big emphasis, like that Coach Holt asked me to do, is just compete, just play hard every minute and every second that you're in there. So, like that's just really my main emphasis. Whether like it's not really a big emphasis on scoring right now or defending or rebounding, just whatever he really wants me to do is what I really go out there and compete for. Just for both of you, just how important is it these last four, six games, whatever it turns out to be, seven, eight, whatever you guys make it, to make this positive, to make this just the best thing it can possibly be, to send you guys off into whatever's next, you know, for next season on a positive note? Uh, for me, it's always um, finished off strong. Um, just having that free spirit, even though things ain't going the way you always wanted to. You just got to have that free spirit and that, and that mindset just to keep going. Um, that's something we preach around the team. And a lot of st a lot of coaches say, it, but like you got to have that mentality. I know it sounds like very cliche, but when you come down to it, you got to have that free spirit and just finish finish things out. Even though good, bad, or ugly, you just got to finish it out with the right mindset, and good results always come from that. Bruce, I think it was after the Michigan State game. You said at this point you really don't feel like a freshman, given how much you guys have played. I know the results haven't been there, but what's the biggest difference for you as a player, and then Roddy after that? as a freshman compared to when you started the season? Uh, you get to see um, the competition level in the Big Ten. Uh, there's so many different styles, so many so many great different um, great players that's in this league. But like one thing I, I know for sure is you got to bring it every night. If you don't, uh, you will get exposed very fast, very quickly. But 
but just me from my experience of being a point guard, it, it been a lot. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but I accepted the role. I just know, like, only thing is, only thing from this season is just I'm gonna keep getting better regardless. Um, doesn't matter if we win all the last last games or we lose all game. I'm gonna keep getting better, and I hope my hope my te- teammates keep getting better, so we can um, make things happen in the future. Uh, for me, early on as a freshman, I really didn't like really have much of a say. So like. Throughout the season, I think I've, it's been a lot better of me, you know, kind of having a role and more ownership in the team, like more vocally being somewhat of a leader. Uh, I just feel like that part has been a lot more, a lot better for me, honestly. Like, I never really, you know, had to lead in the beginning of the year, but then, like, as the season got to go on, I started to play more minutes, started to have more impact on the game. And that's when I think my vocalism, like, was able to show. So, like, Kind of like us freshmen now, like we don't really seem or act as freshmen because like how much impact we've had on the game. You guys mentioned Penn State being a veteran team. How how does that show up on the court when you're playing a team, whether it's Penn State or somebody else that maybe is a little older and has guys who have been around? What does that what does that mean for that opponent on the court? Can you can you kind of tell? Uh, you could definitely tell. Um, you can you can see like the on the connection the the communication level you can tell they just been through it um through been through it and you, and you just can just to see how everybody responds as a team when stuff don't go their way or they want to like eleven and when they, when the other team go like on eleven or run or something like that you can see how they respond and stuff like just the small things that a lot of people really don't see that you, how you can tell like somebody is real put together or they um, very um, senior. Uh, leader led so stuff like that you can see how you, how Penn State really plays and stuff like that. Right, do you see that too? Yeah, like you can see like the maturity level of the of their guys. Like like I said, that their connectedness is uh, something crazy. Like they have, you can tell that they've been through it all, been through stretches where they've been down, been through stretches where they've been up, but they still have that same mindset of together and connectivity. Listen, you guys are young, and it's great to be young, and you don't want to wish away your present, but is there any part of you guys during the course of the season that's sort of like, man, wait till we're older? I, well, when we're sophomores, when we're juniors, and we've been around, like you're learning so much new stuff right now. Are you eager to be the guys who, when you're veterans, you'll be doing the things that you're, you know, saying Penn State's doing right now? Yeah, uh, uh, for sure. Um, but, like, I know you, you all can look forward, but, like, it's kind of hard at the same time. Because uh, you still have to, you got to learn your way first. Um, it's just us being freshmen, um, not to expect to have this type of season, but it was just learning on the way. Uh, I know it's kind of difficult because um, losing don't make it no better. So you, you just really just learning and getting better, as the, learning and getting better on the way. So the only thing we do every day is just try to get better. Um, I, I can't preach that enough, and I can't drill that enough because – that's the only thing I know how to do, I know how to do the next day. Um, that I do enough for my team, do enough, do enough for myself to be better. So, you guys, I'm gonna assume that through high school, neither of you guys had gone through a stretch like this where you've just lost this much. So, going into your summer workouts in the summer and next season, do you think you're gonna be able to draw back on kind of this grind and say, you know? That really sucked, but moving forward, do you think you're going to be able, be able to pull from that? And do you think that's going to make you tougher, like I said, over the summer and into next season? Um, oh, definitely for sure. Um, I, I never want to go through this ever again. Uh, doesn't matter how long I'm here as a, um, a, a Buckeye, I just never want to uh, have this feeling. And every time you go to the locker room, you just like, like dang, like we lost again, then it's again. But, like you just don't want to have that feeling, like. Like the plane ride, going back home suck. Like you just don't want to feel like talking to nobody. It's just that that feeling where you just like you feel like helpless. But I just never want to have that feeling again. So us in the, in the future working on that summer, it's gonna be a uh, a different level of intensity. It just just not having this feeling next year. Roddy, you think the, the same? Uh, yeah, I have to agree with Bruce. Like clearly, like this season has not been what was expected for us. But I think we have an opportunity to be able to like increase the intensity level of next team so that like, we don't have the same outcome again next year. So, I mean, we just got to, for summer workouts, we got to be able to, you know, push each other to be better for the team, honestly. And then with you guys starting four freshmen at, at Purdue, I think that was the first time since like early 2000s or late 90s since Ohio State's done that. 
Uh, what does that mean for you guys and the confidence that Coach Holtman has in you guys? Because he's not, he's not throwing you out there just for fun. He's throwing you out there with the intention that you guys are going to compete and win that game at Purdue. Uh, so what's that like for you guys with Coach when he does that? Uh, it's it's kind of uh, funny at first because we all stay in the same dorm. So it's kind of like uh, when I look in the circle, I'm like, oh, it's all the same guys in my dorm that I stay, see every day. <laughs> So seeing that, it just like seeing how how far we came from the beginning of the season, and then we playing it in the MAC. It says a lot. Um, we were, we had a lot of growth, but we still had a far ways to go at the same time. So us just putting that environment just gave us a great preparation. Of what are we gonna come to see in the future and stuff like that? So um, I feel like we put enough work to have Coach Holman trust, um, and I feel like we're gonna keep growing um, from there. Pickett scored 41 and 32 in his last two games. What's the discussion like as a team when you're getting prepared defensively to, to defend a guy who's super hot like that? What have you guys been talking about and getting ready for him? Uh, when the guy's that hot, there's not really much we can do. But all we really can do is try to give him different looks, uh, try to force him into making some tough shots. And if we if he you know, force him into making a, a contested two. I mean, I feel like we won that possession. But, like, we just going to show him different looks, uh, whether it's Ice, me, Bruce, Justice Garden, them out. Like, I feel like we are very capable defenders. And uh, I don't think he's going to have a 40-point night against us. As playing without Zed, and I'm not sure if you'll have him going forward or not. We'll ask Coach here in a few minutes. But uh, what? how does that change the offense when it's Zed as opposed to Felix or Gene or whoever is, is manning the five? How is the offense different with Zed without Zed? Uh, definitely a difference, especially just having that post presence. Um, um, with his, um, when we need a bucking down low or trying to like get somebody a break, um, that's where you can really give it a Zed and let him work. Um, he's shooting like high, like high 50, so... Uh, next shot, either this shot or the next shot he's going to shoot, he's probably going to make. So just having that inside presence is going to be very um, important and that we're we really going to miss. But it really the next man up. Um, not to say we don't need that. Uh, we definitely love having Zed on the court with us, but it's just the next the next man up, and that's Fee. So Fee and Gene, um, they're getting a lot of reps, just trying to understand the five and what they got to do for the next couple games. And just basically just getting ready for Penn State. And without – or was Zed playing with that brace? Uh, his shooting percentage has gone down. You talk about him shooting 50%. He was at like 60-something before the brace. How has that impacted the offense since he's come back? That you have been, you still would go to him, but obviously it was limiting him and it was affecting his, his effectiveness. How has that impacted the offense? Uh, it, it impacted us. Um, but I wouldn't say that just was the only thing that really impacted us offensively. Um, just taking tough shots and not a lot of ball movement as well. Um, it can really affect the offense, but um, it's hard. It's harder to shoot a jump hook when you, when your arm is restricted, um, and and he um, banging and in the in the paint. So with the biggest almost players in the um, in the conference, so it's kind of tough on him, knowing that's frustrating. Just you know, you're just not able to do what you what you're good at doing. But that's not really all on Zed. Um, we're just taking as as I also said, just taking tough shots and. Uh, having crucial turnovers at the wrong time is also play a big factor. Uh, <laughs>